Wildlife conservation is endlessly complex, and it requires a deep understanding of animal behavior. Monitoring the movements and migration of species is critical science. And new technology is making the tracking process safer, more efficient, and more accurate all the time. Today, I'm meeting up with Dr. Chris Lowe from California State University, Long Beach. He heads up a research unit called the Shark Lab. They're gonna take me out on the water today. We're gonna tag sharks and they'll teach me all about their data collection. Can't wait. The Shark Lab has been a pioneer in shark tagging technology for more than 40 years. And in 1979, Mutual of Omaha's Marlon Perkins was along for the ride to help deploy some of the first ever shark tracking devices. The transmitter is inserted inside a parrot fish, which a shark will swallow. Although revolutionary at the time, the first tracking devices were large, had limited range, and only lasted a few days. Things are much different today. I'm with the director of the Shark Lab, Dr. Chris Lowe, and his team of research students from California State University, Long Beach. With a nice send-off from Harbor Pelicans, we travel south of Santa Barbara to a white shark hotspot location known as Padaro Beach. We have some of your team members on this boat, and what is the goal for today? So the goal for us today is to continue doing what we've been doing for the last six years, and that is tag more sharks so we can monitor their behavior. So this is one of our acoustic transmitters. Each transmitter has a unique ID. So as the shark is moving through the water, we not only know where it is in proximity to a receiver, but we know the depth that it's at. And then this is the dart. This gets darted into the shark's back, and sharks have very tough skin. So this isn't painful or traumatic for them? Think about getting your ears pierced. I've done that. We, we think it's very analogous to that. You'll get a little flinch, and then after that, our biggest challenge is not tagging the same shark twice. Hmm. Dr. Lowe utilizes a network of 120 acoustic receivers scattered along California's coast. These receivers listen for signals from shark transmitters and relay scientists real-time data about shark behavior. I have a job for you today. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You're going to be our underwater camera person who's going to help us determine whether they're males or females. And the way we do this is we have a camera on the end of a pole, and you're going to dip that underneath so we can see the under part of the shark. I understand my assignment. I want to see how it's done. All right, let's do it. We're using a drone piloted by Chris's student, Patrick, to help us locate juvenile great whites in the shallow water. All right, it's a little deep right there. Can you see it? Here, we're coming up on Oh, there. I see it, it's I see it, I see it. It's got a tag in it, it's got a tag. This shark is already tagged, so it's the perfect opportunity for me to try my skill with the camera. So Get a little stick closer. It in, almost aim like for its pec fins or belly, and then when it oh. swims, it'll like swim over the camera. Oh Ray, my you gosh. are you are magic. Oh, 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 oh. there you go. It you got it. It, it you, kicked it. She got it on her first time. Did I get it? Oh, absolutely. That was a big that shark. It's a baby. It's a baby. <laughs> That's a toddler. So I have to ask. The shark, I saw it, and I huh? saw its tag yep. in its dorsal fin. Yep. Is that your tag? Yes. So we just happened to find a shark that you've Already met tagged. before. Yep. Wow. The search is on for an untagged juvenile. And here comes one now. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, OK, that's definitely workable. All right, perfect. It's coming up. Cut so it across ready? the bow. A little bit more, a little bit more. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go. Yeah. OK, we got a female. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice job on the dip can. You crushed it. It was not easy, but you were coaching me. You are an awesome dip can coach. Now that this great white shark has been identified, it's up to Chris to deploy the tracking tag. Yeah, right in the glare. Oh, go, go, go. Whoa. Oh, you got it. Tag away. It. Tag away. Yeah. Heck yeah. Our animal tagging adventure is just getting started.